Okay, so they passed H.R. 1388, 74 to 14. But this one is really sinister because this particular H.R. 1388 is about taking away your children, America. They want your children. Oh, they've already got your money. Your 401ks are, are going to be hijacked. I mean, you're, you're going to lose everything you got. You lose your home, your car, your job. Your, your means to make your own food, they'll make that illegal. You, you think I'm kidding? Wake up. Wake up. They want your children, too. Eight hours a day, your kid is off at school while you're trying to earn a living. Mom and dad are out there earning a living. Sometimes mom and dads have double jobs. They work two jobs, three jobs, just to pay the mortgage back to the bank. <laughs> so your kids are off at school being indoctrinated with pap and drivel. They're not being really taught. Education, even the atheist will agree that education in the public school systems is crap. So your kids have been hijacked at school, and now they want them physically. They want your kids physically. Why? They want an army. An army. To make war. Against who? Against you. They want your kids to fight against Americans. Patriots. Documents were leaked concerning who's a terrorist now. Government documents have been leaked. And now a terrorist has been defined as anyone who's a patriot. Ron Paul is a terrorist. Chuck Baldwin, a terrorist. I am a terrorist because I believe in God. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I believe in the Constitution. I'm a terrorist. You're a terrorist if you believe in the Constitution. Atheist, you don't don't think you're going to be exempt from this because you're not. This affects you. This affects your freedoms of speech. You should be just as outraged and just as angry as I am. Because it's affecting your children too. They're coming for your 401k's. They're coming for your taxes. They're coming for your livelihood. They want your prodigy. They want your children, too. Completely collapse the economy. So we're all looking for work. Standing in bread lines and soup kitchens and going off to FEMA camps just to keep a roof over our head. They are not going to rest until they reduce the population. End game here is reduce the population. Any means possible. Quickly. We have people screaming every Sunday about some football game, basketball game, some sport event. You know, you got fans painting their face and screaming, woo, 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 over a ball. And I'm crazy because there's a law, a law in black and white declaring they want my children. They want your children. They want to take your kids and turn them into little Nazis. Give them little brown shirts and plastic badges and send them out as snitches. Do you know how hard it is to find 1984? To rent it? In my area, you cannot rent the movie 1984. It says that they have it, but no one returns it. Why is that? A, you got fans, and they realize that they're not printing that movie anymore. You know why? Or 
Orwell's 1984 is hard to find because it it's like prophecy. It's like prophecy of the future. It's like painting a picture of what the New World Order really wants to do. Turn us all into mind-numb chemical robots. We're, we're, we've lost our compassion. We've lost our self, self-dignity. We've lost our self-respect. And we don't respect anybody. All we do is kowtow to the powerful big brother that tells us what to do. How to think. What to say. Are we, the American people, the people of the world, going to let these tyrants really take us and rape us? And take our children? Are we going to let them do that? Are we really going to let this happen? Is there anybody out there that actually will resist this tyranny? I, for one, am not going to allow my kids to be a part of this satanic monster. This this monster that is building a religion. This is Nazi-esque. This is like a repeat of Nazi Germany. We got FEMA camps for what? We've got FEMA coffins, plastic coffins, that can fit three to four people. And stackable. For what? They've got a plan. They're building the infrastructure. It's already here. It already exists. Check it out. They're trying to destroy the internet. They want to change it. They want to reduce it down so it's just like TV, so it's so it's controlled and, and used as propaganda. They're trying to take away your freedom of speech, atheists, Christians. They're going to try to take away your freedom of speech. H.R. 1388 does that. You cannot preach. You cannot participate and any protests, they completely override the Constitution. Our government has declared war on its people. Our government, through the New World Order banking elite who have hijacked America, through the consistent fraudulent fiat currency, I mean, they're printing money out of nothing, okay? They're just creating ones and zeros and funneling it off to the big bankers and to the big corporations. I want you guys, my watching audience, to do something about this information I'm giving you. I want you to check it out. If you're uh, Christians, if you're unaware of this, you need to get yourself aware of this, okay? And, and don't you think that a rapture is going to just solve it? Because rapture is not going to solve this problem. You've got to put your thinking cap on and try to figure out how you are going to survive during this period of onslaughts and attacks upon your freedoms and your liberties. H.R. 1388 declares war against your family. They want to recruit your children for a Nazi-esque military premise. They want your children to police you. They want your children to war against citizens. Do you want that? Do you want your children to die in a war that is fought over money, oil, natural resources, a lie?
this is history is repeating itself right now. What's happening is just like very similar to what was happening in Nazi Germany. Your economy just went in the tank, and then what happened? Oh, a very boisterous leader rises up. Let's have new directed forces will redirect the populace. In, in, I mean, they used massive amounts of propaganda, and they got the people all swelled up with homeland security pride. Homeland, the homeland. Our government has sold us out.